Hey guys, Steve Games here, and today we're gonna be uh, continuing our FNAF um, Freedom tutorial. So today we're gonna be making an alarm clock. So I'm going to get a table. If I can write, I'll use this table, make it a little bigger, like this, or maybe maybe not. Okay. So, um, okay, so um, if you want to um, have a 3D model of the clock, that's fine. I'm going to put it on a, a cube, okay? So I'm going to add this cube here, and this cube is going to be the alarm clock. Um, yeah. So, I am going to create a text. Like this. I am going to put it on the clock. Make it red because why not? Yeah, like this. Okay. So, just. Uh, so it looks nice. Nice. So <coughs> now uh, let's go to our level blueprint. I'm gonna find begin play over here. Let's um, the delay. Now I'm going to make each minute uh, 5 seconds just for testing. Um, but we will change this later. So I'm going to use a variable. And it's going to be called time. I'm going to change this to integer. Go on pile and save. Now um, I'm going to drag this out. Get it. Now drag out. Type plus plus. Okay. And increment integer so what this does is it will increase our time by one um, now before we do this uh, i'm going to check if this is equal to 12. now if it is i'm going to start a branch here if it's not if it is if it's not i'm going to increment it if it is i'm going to set the time to exactly one. Okay, so after this, I'm going to make a reroot node. Out of branch. Now we will check if uh, the time is equal to six. If it is, I'm going to open level and just type main level. So I'm going to restart the level for now. Okay. This is going to be our victory. Now, if it's not, I'm going to just uh, get the railroad node here. Get a railroad node here and oh my mistake. Okay, sorry, I, I'm going to do this. I'm gonna connect this. Double click here, double click here, and I'm going to make this nice like this. Okay. So basically, wait five seconds if the time is twelve, which we will set. So let's click on time, change it to twelve, and save it. Uh, now, if the time is 12, we'll, as well, we'll set it to 1. If it's not 12, we will uh, increment it. And after that, we will check if it's 6. If it is 6, we won. If it's, uh, if it's not, we will uh, go back here and do it once again. Now, um, 
after this I also want to set that um, I'm going to go to our level, click on the text I'm going to call this uh, time time text go here, right click time text set text ok we're going to set the text now um, yeah format text so we will format text and over here I am going to write uh, these brackets and after that I'm gonna write a uh, PM and inside those brackets I'm going to write time so it should look like this and now we can connect time which is going to be our variable compile and save um, maybe I'll add uh, zero, 00 PM like this um, like this, okay, nice. So zeros time zero zero p.m. Okay, so right here, I'm going to change the text to twelve twelve a.m. p.m. Um, okay, I'm gonna make it smaller. Okay. Uh, also, my mistake. This is supposed to be AM. I am stupid. Yeah, let's do it like this. And uh, now I'm thinking. Yeah. Okay. So if you press play. One AM. Two. Three. Yeah, so it works. Now we will look if it uh, teleports us uh, back into the level when it hits X. Yeah, nice. Okay, so it works. Now we have a working clock. Now I am. Um, I feel like I made a. I think we do not need this. I don't think we need that. I think we just need this. And yeah. And I'm going to change the time to zero. Because um, yeah, we do not need to check that. Okay. So it should look like this. If it uh, looks like this, then you should. Uh, yeah, you just made a working clock. So if we wait here, 1 a.m. Nice, works great. So I'm going to change this to like uh, 30. So we have a bit of a longer night, and we've got a working clock. So um, that is it. That is the tutorial today. Thank you for watching, and have a nice day. Yeah, bye.